Nephrotic syndrome. Nephrotic syndrome is a clinical condition in which excess protein from blood is eliminated by kidneys. One should remember that the cutoff range in children for nephrotic syndrome is set at protein urea more than 40 mg per meter square per hour or 1 g per meter square per day. Whereas in adults we set this cutoff at 3.5 g per day. It is very important to remember that any condition yes any condition which causes a protein urea of above range can cause a nephrotic syndrome. Let's understand it further. Let's draw a nephron which is structural and functional unit of kidney. These are afferent and efferent arterioles. Now as we know that glomeruli is dysfunctional hence excess of protein comes as filtrate since excess of protein loss there occurs a deficit of albumin protein in blood and as we know the proteins regulates osmotic pressure hence decrease in osmotic pressure occurs leading to edema also decrease level of protein pushes the liver to produce lipoprotein as a compensation this lipid protein combo which is better known as ldl circulates in blood and later they too get excreted out along with anticoagulant factor such as protein c and s the excess lipid filtered is taken up by the pct cells but up to a limit and later these cells come to death and along with all the chunk appears in urine Let's zoom out at the picture as whole. Now let's summarize these features. Number 1, massive protein urea, more than 1 g per meter square per day in children and more than 3.5 g per meter square per day in adults, which cause hypoalbuminemia, resulting in edema, leading to overproduction of lipoproteins, hence causing hyperlipidemia and since excretion of anticoagulatory factors there occurs hypercoagulability of blood now let's come to some assessment tests spot urine test in which protein creatinine ratio is taken if more than 2 indicates nephrotic range this test is considered best as it takes both protein and creatinine in picture as similar picture of increased protein excretion can be seen if person has rhabdomyolysis but creatinine secretion there will be increased too hence ratio will be less than 2 in rhabdomyolysis now coming to the routine test of kidney function that is urine dipstick test which has a strip of color changing chemical sensitive to protein level in urine Plus three or plus four indicates that urine may have protein content more than three fifty milligram per dl, or if we consider to be a day sample, that is one to one point five liters, it comes out to be three point five gram or above, hence crossing the nephrotic range. Other tests include serum albumin, since hypoalbuminemia, the level decreases below two point five gram per dl. Periorbital edema can also be seen more in the morning as the patient is in the lying position for long time so the fluid tends to collect here and as the lipoprotein production increase so is the serum cholesterol level more than 250 mg per dl and also the anticoagulant factor loss causes positive test related to increased blood coagulability now coming to the types with respect to cause nephrotic syndrome can be divided into two types primary or secondary in primary or idiopathic type the cause is unknown and is mainly seen in children whereas in secondary type the cause is known and mainly seen in adults coming to primary the best example is minimal change disease it is the most common cause of nephrotic syndrome in children and responds very well to steroids coming to secondary type the best example is fsgs or focal segmental glomerular sclerosis which is seen as injury to glomeruli leading to sclerosis since permanent changes hence no or poor response to steroid now let's understand the pathophysiology of mcd let's draw the kidney first as we know its structural and functional unit is nephron which is tiny microscopic structure arranged in similar manner now let's see the longitudinal section of nephron as you can see the capillary basement membrane bowman's capsule and the mesangium containing mesangial cells note bowman's capsule has a specialized layer of cell called podocyte present over visceral epithelium 
Now coming to the transfer section of nephron, we see Bowman's capsule, basement membrane, endothelium and the mesangium cells. Podocytes are called so because of their extension like that of the foot. These foot processes form a fine net through which ultrafiltration takes place. Let's see what happens to the podocyte in MCD. Due to some unknown reason causing direct or T cell induced damage to the podocyte foot processes which causes their retraction or due to some congenital deficiency like absence of protein at foot processes let's zoom out and see this as whole Now let's see the causes of edema in nephrotic syndrome. The major cause of edema is primary sodium water retention and not the hypoalbuminemia. This sodium water retention is based on overflow hypothesis. Let's clear this concept with the help of this flow chart. As we have already discussed, due to dysfunctional glomerular membrane, the protein leaks and hence causes decreased protein in circulation leading to decrease in oncotic pressure which causes decrease in bp seeing this the ras activates causing aldosterone secretion leading to sodium water retention hence the edema here the bp returns to the normal and sends a negative feedback to ras but the t cell keeps the ras activated and hence the continuous secretion of aldosterone occurs leading to edema edema occurring from protein was a minor mechanism whereas edema mainly occurs due to t cell induced activation hence giving albumin in the patients of mcd does not improve the condition much but as we give steroids there is drastic improvement in the patient's condition more topics coming in the nephrotic syndrome till then stay tuned